The Chemistry of Nail Polish, by me, Katie Woodall. History. Nail polish became mainstream in America during the 1920s. People have been dyeing their parts of their bodies since the beginning of time. In ancient China, the upper class wore bright nail dye composed of gum arabic, beeswax, gelatin, and egg white. An old automobile factory in the 1920s was the first major producer in, the Amer in America. Questions I had about nail polish before doing research. How is it made? Why is it hardened? Is it at all dangerous? Which polish is on the longest and why? How has chemistry changed the nail polish industry? And what makes nail polish come off with a remover? How is it made? Colors are mixed with a chemical called nitrocellulose. The mix is flattened into a sheet and the sheet is broken up into little chips. The little chips are dissolved into solvent. The solvent varies from batch to batch and a big stainless steel kettle. The kettles are surrounded by cool water to maintain a steady temperature. The kettles are controlled by computers because there is a big risk of their contents exploding. The kettles are closed to finish off the reaction and then the polish is cooled before being individually packaged. Why does it harden? Nitrocellulose is the main ingredient and it acts like a film agent. The nitrocellulose is mixed with synthetic resins and plastic substances sometimes even nylon, to improve flexibility and water tightness. Examples of plasticizers that we have encountered through UA chemistry and biology are glycerol, fatty acids, and acetic acid. Why does it harden? Continue. The solvent used in production process must be able to evaporate once applied to the nails. One crucial part of the nail polish remaining non-viscous and smooth is its identity as a suspension, which also affects the coloring. Nail polish has a very de delicate chemical balance, and the right amount of nitrocellulose is what allows its proper hardening time and for it to not be brittle when it hardens. With too much nitrocellulose, the solution will be brittle and not stick well. Is it at all dangerous? Nail polish is obviously commercially used all the time, but there is little to no evidence of FDA-approved polishes being dangerous. That being said, there is emerging research on three ingredients found in some polishes. Too lean, DBP, and formaldehyde. DBP, dibutyl phthalate, is used to enhance the staying power of some nail polishes, but it has also been linked to certain cancers and underdeveloped genitals and male fetuses. Which nail polish stays on the longest and why? According to my research, the brand OPI has the longest lasting polishes. The only explanation I have been able to find for this is that they use the high quality ingredients which contribute to its high price. How has chemistry changed the nail polish industry? The basic chemistry on nail polish has remained fairly unchanged since the 1920s. Most innovations have been made to improve exact colors and lasting power of polishes. The controversy concerning chemistry in the nail polish industry is the amount of acid in commercial polishes. The more acid, the more of the nail is worn away and the better the polish sticks, like an enamel on a piece of unfinished wood. What makes nail polish come up with a remover? As we will know, the main ingredient of nail polish remover is acetone. The solvent, acetone, dissolves the polymer, nail polish, and the molecules of the solvent temporarily destruct the polymer structure and make it top soft temporarily before the solvent evaporates and it allows the polymer to reharden. Hopefully, by this point, you have transferred the polymer molecules to a cotton ball. Thus, the polish is effectively removed. Post research discoveries Dibutyl phthalate is legal in Europe, but not here. Some polishes have two lean and some do not. Different colors are harder to make than others. Fun facts. Dibutyl phthalate. Why is it illegal in Europe? DDP is illegal in Europe in children's toys, nail polishes, and other cosmetics because it has been linked to infertility and birth defects. These studies are well respected, and since 2006, all polishes produced in the U.S. must not have DBP in them. DBP is illegal in children's toys and articles exceed 1,000 parts per million. Pros and cons of tooling. Pro. Tooling gives polish long-lasting color and smoother texture. Cons. It's toxic in large amounts. It is potentially harmful to a woman's reproductive system. For people who work in nail salons that are concerned about long-term health effects. Most difficult color to make and why. With modern technology, it is possible to make virtually any pigment of polish. Ironically enough, it is most difficult, according to many manufacturers, to actually produce white. I'm not talking about white, white out as nail polish, 
but actually pure white polish. The volatility of the solutions makes nailing down a color as pure as white practically impossible, seeing as the rate at which the chemicals react is much faster than it takes to stabilize the polish. Thin facts. To reduce chipping, apply polish in several thin layers instead of a couple thick. Most nail polishes have a shelf life of about two years. The most commonly used color of nail polish is hot pink. The most expensive bottle of commercial nail polish costs $250 and has actual flux of real platinum in it. And websites. The end.